a little bit of carry on my wayward son. Might find some peace when you are done. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Salvation, the pre-season finale of Supernatural Season 1. This is the first episode that introduced the Road So Far, Carry On My Wayward Son montage. And admittedly, it's actually pretty well edited. They, this was the beginning of the use of that, and admittedly, they've always been good. Even with the latter seasons, which I have had many issues with, these montages have always been very good. So you've got to always give props to the editing department for putting together these things. And I can't imagine what season 15's one will be. If they include everything from every single season, that will be very impressive. On to this episode, Salvation. This episode's actually kind of a slow episode for a preseason finale. There's a lot of dialogue, conversations between the boys and their dad, which admittedly isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. There's a lot more character development with, between the three of them. There's a lot more kind of intrusive moments between the three. But admittedly, it does move very, very slowly to the point where really the action happens in like the last 14 minutes of the episode. What we see is that Meg has come back and she's taking down people who the Winchesters are associated with, including Pastor Jim, who has an entire plethora of weaponry in front of him, yet he goes for the knife. Now, to say that that was a dumb move, no, but it kind of makes me wonder, either he was really stressed out and stupid here, or he knew just how bad Meg was, and he knew that none of his guns would work, but that knife was going to somehow. What was so powerful about that knife? But then there's another key moment of decision, and that is when Meg blackmails John to come out and give her the cult. What instead he does is he finds a fake gun, and he gives the gun the mission and the job to his boys to take down the yellow-eyed demon once and for all. And that's a pretty big scene. Considering John has been going after this demon for the last 15 years, and now he has to give the job to his sons, who are capable, but this is something that he's been after for this whole time. So to have that moment of humanity to give this job over to the people who can do it while putting himself up for sacrifice, I thought that was a really good moment. And I did like how when he goes out to meet Meg, they use the color schemes and the lighting aspects that were used in Shadow, which was one of Meg's best episodes. But we also see the brothers have kind of a moment between themselves outside the car, and then they go in and they try to take down the demon, but they miss. And there's this really cool lighting effect. They blow up the house, which I kind of wonder how. I wonder if that house was actually meant to be torn down and that's how they were able to do it because they full on blow up that window. But then we also see John almost get away, but he's caught by the other guy who I believe turns out to be Meg's brother. In the end, this episode isn't actually a bad episode. It has slow building and has some really good moments and it has Robert Singer not being a lazy bastard behind the director's chair, but I felt that this definitely isn't the buildup. It's not as much of a buildup as you would want it to be. And considering how high of a standard the next episode has, I feel that this one just didn't really get me as jazz as I thought it would considering other pre-season finale episodes of the entire show. So in the end, I'm gonna give Salvation a four out of seven. There are some good moments in this episode, don't get me wrong, but in terms of a buildup, pre-season finale, as well as just how slowly, oddly enough, the episode moves, I just have to fault it for that. But now we are coming up to Devil's Trap, the season finale of this show and the end of my journey of reviewing season one since 2016. I don't know how it took me this long, but admittedly, I am very happy to be there. So please, please give me your comments, your thoughts, and everything you guys have about Devil's Trap. I will be reviewing that episode very soon because I'm so damn close. So make sure to give me that. And at the same time, also give me your guys' thoughts of season one, because when I do my season one review, I will also be taking those comments as well. One from here from Ahmed. Probably the funniest scene in Salvation is in the warehouse where John is able to run away because Meg and other demon hear noises. Definitely believable. All in all, it's a good episode. Yeah, actually, that's kind of one of the reasons why I fault it, because that's just some bad writing right there. But it, it was kind of a funny scene. I do love also how John just kind of... For a dude who's running for his life, Jeffrey Dean Morgan don't run. He definitely doesn't jog. And I guess there's this other one here from Jim the Cat. 
Your reviews really help to me to remember how great this show once was and how creepy. Well, thank you, sir. I do appreciate that. All right, guys, that's all for me. Make sure to give me your comments, your thoughts about Season 1 and Devil's Trap in the comments below, because I'll be reading those out in the next two videos when I finally finish Season 1. Woo! All right, guys, see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.